Okay, today I'm gonna to be talking you through how to put a wetsuit on properly to improve the lifespan of your wetsuit, but also your flexibility, mobility, and performance when swimming in a wetsuit. And I'm sure many of you out there are very confident in putting a wetsuit on, but very few people are really getting enough flexibility and mobility from their shoulders. So hopefully I've got a few tips to share with you on that. So let's run through a bit of a step-by-step -step guide on how to put your wetsuit on. Okay, first off, if you're used to using a surfing or sailing wetsuit, well, these swimming or triathlon wetsuits are very different. Whereas with a surfing wetsuit, you might be quite aggressive and forceful getting in and out of it. If you were to treat this wetsuit in the same way, well, it's probably not gonna last you very long. See, the neoprene and the material on these is a very supple material, and that means it's very easy to sink your nails into it, to snag it on some rocks, or worse, even rip it. So they do need a little more looking after and care. And that's where these little things might come in. You may find these flashy white gloves in your box when you first purchase some wetsuits. And the idea of these is that you wear them on your hands and that stops or hopefully prevents you from putting your nails through the wetsuit and putting it on very carefully. And they do do a very good job of that, particularly if you do have long nails. But let's be honest, who actually carries these around regularly or probably has lost them after a week or two of using their wetsuits. So today I'm actually gonna be running us through how to put the wetsuit on well without using these gloves whilst not damaging the wetsuit. Okay, let's get this wetsuit on. That's probably worth me pointing out. This is the front of the wetsuit. That's the back, zip on the back, front, back okay so we want to undo the top zip open now neat little trick for actually getting the wetsuit on nice and quickly or at least the legs putting a plastic bag on one of your feet or at least just maybe leaving your sock on that will still work and then carefully obviously try not to dig your nails in pull that up and over your foot so that's really nice and simple and then repeat the same for the other leg Okay, so that's my feet in and my lower legs in. Now it's time to start pulling it up the body. And this is where things can go wrong. So my tactic here is always to try and grab as much material as I possibly can, rather than putting too much strain on a small area. Now, you also wanna make sure that you're not getting your nails anywhere near the suit. Now, personally, I've got very short nails. If you have got long nails, well, you might need to be a little bit creative with your grip when you're grabbing this material or make sure that you're using some gloves. So start pulling the suit up as much as you can, then go back down to the lower leg and pull the bottom into place. Now you might be surprised to see that I'm pulling mine quite far up my leg and that's simply due to my height. So don't be surprised if the ends of your suit don't actually meet your ankles or wrists either. Now you need to work the material up your legs bit by bit, carefully grabbing the neoprene and shifting it up, making sure you're not being too forceful. And then you want to continue bit by bit, bringing that material up and towards and over the hips. Now you want to make sure that the crotch area is nicely pulled up. If it's not, then you actually want to head back down the legs, see if there's any areas that are rooked up, particularly around the knees, iron those out, pull them up, or you might even need to go right back down to the start to the ankle region and actually pull the ankles back up and then start that whole process again, pulling the material up. Back to the hips though, if you can, try and grab a big bunch of the material and safely obviously pull that up and over the hips. Just working that material up, I think you get the picture now, bit by bit on both sides. And the idea is simply to get as much material up into this upper body so that it's not pulling down on your shoulders and causing tension. And also just to make your life a lot easier with getting the arms in. Okay, so if you're happy and you feel like you've got enough material up the suit, then yeah, it's time to start getting the arms in. And again, you can use that little bag trick, putting your hand into the bag and slipping your arms through. Also, I would advise taking your watch off at least just to get the wetsuit on to start off with. So one arm at a time, slipping the hand through, getting the end in place, and then working the material up your arm. Now this is the really important area, one that most don't get right and can really help with mobility in the shoulders or reduce that burning shoulder feeling. Essentially, you want to work as much material up into the shoulders as possible. If you do move too much up there, it's easy enough to push it back down after. And then same again on the other arm. 
Okay, we're almost there, but not quite finished because we're actually going to head back down the body now and you might want to go right back down to the legs, start that whole process over again, working the material up your legs and into your crotch. But two things that everyone should do at this point is one, bend over ever so slightly and you should see some sort of folds appear around your stomach region. That means it's much easier for you to grab hold of that material and then start working that material up your body into the chest region as you stand up. So that's done. But then also, next one is, pop one of your legs out to the side, maybe a bit of a bend in it. Again, that allows you just to grab hold of that material quite easily and start working it up over your hip. But don't stop there. Keep working that material up and into your armpit. Again, the same on the other side. Now I'm giving my secrets away a little bit, but that little tactic has been an absolute winner for me over the years. And you should feel it really frees up your shoulders once you've done it. And that is it really. It's just time to check for any rooked up areas or other areas that you feel you need to address. But otherwise, time to zip the wetsuit up. Now, you may find that you've just got a standard zip on your wetsuit, or you may have the opposite, which is like a top-down zip. I used to have this on a lot of my wetsuits. And the idea here is that nobody can accidentally unzip your wetsuit during the swim believe me it has been known to happen and also when you come out of the swim the idea is that you can grab the zip pull upwards and almost pull the arms off in the same action again quite an elite sort of thing i've got a standard zip on mine so i just simply have to pull it upwards and then you may notice on the end of your cord you've got a little velcro tab this is on most of the cords you just attach that to your velcro tab for the neck up at the top and then pull the neck tab across. Now you wanna make sure that that's nice and tight, not so tight that it's cutting off the blood to your head, but equally it wants to be tight enough that there's no gaping holes that the water can flood in through. And that is it really. The only final bits of advice would maybe be to apply some anti-chafe balm or just simply some Vaseline around your neck, particularly if you're swimming in the sea with salt water. It just adds that extra layer of protection and glide between the skin and the neoprene. And then also, you may want to consider putting some baby oil or something similar onto your forearms and your lower legs and this is just simply to whip the wetsuit off nice and quickly and easily after swim but again getting quite elite there and also we'll address that in more detail in another video but if you have enjoyed today's video please do give it a thumbs up if you've got any questions at all about how to put a wetsuit on then do just drop them in the comments section below and don't forget you can follow gtn over on social media and subscribe to us on youtube